Okay, what I'm going to show you is how to remove the front sight housing gas block on an A2 style barrel and replace it with a modular gas block. I've already removed the muzzle brake so it's out of the way. I'm going to use the uh, front sight block here. Get it on the table nice and sturdy. And then I'm going to get a roll pin punch. I'm going to drive out the gas tube pin. We'll get that out of the way. Now I have an option. I can either take the gas tube completely out just by sliding it to the rear and uh, getting it out of the way or leaving it as it is and pulling the front sight off. I'm going to leave it in place. It's a little bit easier if I uh, leave that in place and drive out those cross pins. Now I've got a cut point punch. I'm going to drive out these uh, taper pins. I want to be careful and not round out the holes, so I'm going to loosen them. And then I'll use a straight punch once they're loose to drive them the rest of the way out. Just in case I need to use that gas block again. Now this uh, gas block should just slide right off the end of the barrel. Got our gas tube with it. We're going to reuse this gas tube, so we want to pull it out. Make sure that the gas tube is uh, serviceable. While we've got that off, we want to uh, check the gas port, make sure there aren't any burrs, and that it's a good open gas port in the top of the barrel. We'll put our uh, handguard cap on the end again. This particular gas block is very easy to install. It's secured with set screws. We'll put the uh, gas tube back in. I want to make sure it's indexed so that the hole is to the bottom. We'll put that in place, slide it back out of the way a little bit. Put our gas block on. Put the gas tube in place. Now we want to make sure this is indexed properly and look down it. They're nice level surfaces. Now this is secured with two set screws. You'll need to use an Allen hex key to uh, drive those set screws in. And it's a friction fit. So a 330 seconds uh, Allen key. Just cinch those down, get them in place, and lock that in position. Check it again. It's aligned. Now we're going to take the gas tube, run it forward so that we've got the uh, gas tube aligned with the gas tube roll pin. Just checking to make sure that I've got the index proper. And I like to go in from the same uh, direction and remove from the same direction, so I'm going to invert that to the other side. We'll use the lighter hammer again. Start a little bit and then we'll drive it the rest of the way in. Now that the pin's in place, we'd want to check the uh, action to make sure that the bolt will cycle and line up with the gas tube. We'll just put the bolt in that uh, came out of it. Cycle it a couple of times to make sure it will cycle before we uh, test fire it, and that way we know it, it's going to line up. The bolt moves freely, charging handle moves freely. Looks like it's going to work. So now I would function fire it before I uh, 
did any other work such as attaching sights just to make sure that I wasn't going to have to pull it back off and do something else to it. 